So I posted this particular design few days back and someone asked me for a tutorial on how to fix images, how to fix screenshots, how to fix um, shapes into a smartphone frame. Okay, like this, like the particular one I showed you just now and um, also something like this. Okay yes okay something like this how to fix images how to fix screenshots how to fix um shapes into phone frame and that is exactly what i'm about to show you in this tutorial once again you are welcome the first thing i would like to um do and the first thing you should do is to get the smartphone frame okay the smartphone frame you want to use now it's very easy to download them just go to your browser maybe chrome maybe um maybe phonics whatever browser you are using just go to the browser and search for smartphone frame png there are so many of them so let me just let's just do that quickly smartphone frame png okay like you can see on my screen just search for smartphone frame png and it's going to bring so many options that you can download and use okay but then i have a couple of um them on my phone that i'm going to use for the sake of this tutorial all right so the first thing is to import my phone frame okay all right so this is my phone frame here just mark it now there are different kinds of phone frame but for the sake of this tutorial i will only be using this now i'm just going to position it to the center now there are different ways to actually fix fix screenshots images and all of that into your phone frame there are different ways you can use the max to depending on the peculiarity of the screenshot of all the image that you want to fix into your phone frame all right so the first way i want to show you is using shapes okay so um let's assume that i just want to type maybe, I, maybe i'm working with some text that i need to um put on a phone frame all right so that um that is when this particular method can come in handy so the first thing is to create a shape look at this okay this is a square shape just adjust it move this down all right just fix it carefully take out your time and fix it carefully also move this here then move this here too all right then the next thing you are going to do now is to adjust your radius the what the radius will do is that to make the edges curved okay because if i decide to mark it like this then the next thing i'm going to do or the next thing i'm supposed to do is to send it to back look at this particular um yeah this particular feature just click on send to back and you can see it is now at the back but then if i leave it you realize that some edges are showing okay you look at it some edges here look at it some edges here are showing which is not something i want okay so to adjust that click on edit then increase the blur radius you can see increase the radius i can decide to move this to the right a bit more so that i can fit in perfectly then increase the blur radius um the radius a bit more mark it then send it to back you can see i have created my phone frame and just with this i can decide to, okay let me use another color so that i can be more visible all right so let me use this i can decide to now type in whatever i want to type just move it here and just play around okay then i can fix in my text and that is that about that but sometimes if you are working with some kind of screenshot for example let me just import one let me just import one there are different ways to also work with that okay so let me just um import a screenshot screenshots then let me work with um this okay let me work with this particular screenshot now mark it now to be able to fix in this um screenshot to this phone there are also different ways you can do that the first thing is to if you you realize that if i decide to move it down here and just increase this here and um fix it in I, I think this is actually even perfect this is going to fit in well so yeah this is one method just ensure it is well positioned yeah take out the time to position this then the next thing is to send it to back all right just send it to the back of the phone move it to the back of the phone hide this particular shape now tap on this particular um tap on this um screenshot again then go to eraser then erase 
yeah you can now erase the edges just take out your time to erase the edges carefully so that those edges will not pop up this is one way okay this is one way i'm going to show you another way to do that mark it all right you can see it okay some parts are still showing here so you can but i i believe you already get my point so basically all you have to do is just erase those edges so that they don't they don't show all right so that your work can look professional all right so just take out your time and adjust it don't let it be too much okay you can see now that it's too much you can see that a, a white part the white part is showing around here so that is that then the second way is to still work with the shape this time around you are going to fix the shape then after fixing the shape the next thing you are going to do is just to tap on the shape then come to texture look at texture click on texture click on this then import the screenshot tap on the screenshot this is it then if you need to adjust it sorry okay so this is it then click on mark you can see that it has perfectly fixed into the shape okay so you can just play around this method depending on the one that work um for the particular screenshot you are working on or the particular image you are working on all right then another thing you can use is actually the max tool but this becomes very much handy too if you don't want to use the erase um function but i just feel like the erase function will make your work fast faster because if i decide to use the max tool here for example all i have to do is just to click on max look at it this is mask click on max then i can now adjust this move this here the goal is just to ensure that i get rid of the edges okay i just want to get rid of the edges that is why i'm using the max tool okay so yeah that is just that about that so i can decide to just adjust it i can decide to adjust it to get something perfect then enable it click on out and um you can see i've been able to get what i'm looking for this is perfect so you can also use the max to to arrive at what you want now if you are new to this channel you know what to do kindly hit the subscribe button tap on the like button too so that more people can see this video then turn on your notification bell so that youtube can notify you of the next content all right whenever i drop it so these are just the two major ways i fix um screenshot shapes images into my phone okay these are the two major ways like i said the first one is just you using shape the whether let's assume that you want to work with text then the next thing is using texture then the next thing is using the eraser like erasing the edges of the screenshots then another thing another very similar thing to achieve the same thing you use erasing for is for is using the max to to be able to fit into the phone frame thank you for sticking around to this point i'm going to see you in the next video peace out